resources out of a deep desire to love and be loved. And what this is about is bringing us into the fullness of what that actually is. I don't think horse people are out here, I don't think I was, out being cruel or have, trying to harm anyone. We each play a role in the reality in our outer world. We're all very much responsible for what's taking place when we're looking out there and seeing much of our population be exploited and controlled. It all starts with coming back to ourselves and making the changes within and the things that we have the most control over are our own thoughts, words and actions and the, those that we place on the beings that are dependent on us. The greatest gift any one of these horses could have for any of us is teaching us how to return fully to our bodies so that we know the truth and know what is good for us and what doesn't work for us and, and how to take care of ourselves. And how do we get into our own bodies to, to bring about the emotional intelligence that animals actually have to offer us? When we keep them in a conditioned state, they actually take on a lot of our characteristics. So whereas we go to animals because of their mindfulness and their, their stillness, we actually get rid of a lot of that through our conditioning process so that a lot of domesticated animals actually take on a lot of the, the emotional nonsense and baggage and stuffing down that we do. What we most crave to have in them, we actually snuff out through our treatment of them on a daily basis. This work is not about what we're doing or not doing in and around the horses, it's about creating that space of stillness so that feelings can get processed. Because what we're doing with horses and animals in general is creating distractions from our feelings. The animals are the escape. You're domesticating in order to get a need met. The more distractions we have, the more we stuff down our creative abilities and aren't looking for solutions. We're just, we're looking for how we can control. And it all makes sense because as humanity is evolving, we're moving more and more and more away from primitive thinking and primitive means to get what we need. The only way I know right now to restore a sense of self-worth is to get quiet and ask the question, am I really not? I mean, of course you're worthy. You're alive. You're breathing. Everything's fine. And anything outside of that is contrived and made up. Your worth is determined by the fact that you're here. You're here. You're, you're alive. You are a, a being in your own right. You're worthy of this life because you have it. That's, that's the greatest thing about this, is you just acknowledge what's true. Am I worthy to be alive? Well, I'm alive, so clearly that's the answer. If you know that you're the one that's deciding how worthy you are, then you're, you've got your power back immediately. So through presence and stillness, you cannot not feel that connection. You cannot not feel that aliveness, which is why the need for escape becomes irrelevant. Because if you're in the moment feeling your feelings and allowing them to process through you, there's nothing to run from because your worth is restored in that moment of connection and knowing. People are like, oh, well, if you don't ride your horse, what value do they have? Why are you spending all your money on them? And that's all projection of that person's level of self-worth, that person's level of freedom in their world. What about horses in indigenous cultures? What about horses that we're using for logging? What about horses that we're using for work? Those are all real valid things, and I think they're more acceptable than when we're using an animal recreationally. However, we are infinite creative beings. If we weren't wasting our time using animals, we'd probably be coming up with really cool advanced technology to do all of those things that were, was much more greener for the planet. So when people are like, what about when we used horses to to move about the country and everything. And I'm like, you know, we created cars too. And that probably could have happened sooner if we hadn't been so distracted with, with dominating each other. It's not a right or wrong thing. All life is connected. We don't get to say oneness and not mean it. Like if everything is connected and all things are one, then everything is okay on some level. That's what love is, a container for all things that cannot be defined by any lesser part of itself. But if we're operating, we're being inspired to move out of fear, that's, that's not gonna move us to the fullness of what we can create together.